Senator Rezin and I rise uh, today uh, to talk about a recent tragedy that our state suffered. On the morning of Monday, April 8th, 27-year-old Department of Corrections Tactical Response Team Sergeant Andrew Fote sadly perished in the line of duty. Andrew, whose friends and family called Drew, was tragically killed in a vehicle accident while responding to a tactical call at Lawrence Correctional Center. Drew was a Morris, Illinois native and graduate of Morris Community High School. While I did not know Drew personally, Morris is a very tight-knit community. Over the past couple of days, there's been an outpouring of public support and kind words recognizing the contribution of this great young man. Many people have remarked about just how kind and considerate Drew was to those who knew him. While it's never easy to come to grips with such a tragedy, I know that his family was proud of him and his accomplishments. The sergeant was a member of IDOC's prestigious uh, tactical response team. It takes an enormous amount of hard work and training to become a member of the tactical response team or the TRT team as it's better known in the Department of Corrections. It's uh, potentially very dangerous, but it's absolutely necessary position within IDOC. Those who become part of this elite group deserve recognition and praise for their accomplishments. The sergeant's memory and achievements did not go unnoticed. I know from my time with IDOC, members of TRT are revered by the entire staff of the department. So to lose someone of such character is a tragedy not just to his family and brothers and sisters at IDOC, but to the entire state. I also want to thank Governor Pritzker and his staff for issuing a special proclamation and for also lowering the flags uh, today. We would ask uh, that we take a moment of silence to remember Sergeant Andrew Drew Fote. Thank you.